Oh no, he's coming. He's coming slowly. Oh, he's gonna die. They're all gonna die. No. Howdy folks and welcome back to Ark Aberration Adventures. That's what we're going to call this one, Ark Aberration Adventures. We are at the community center as you saw in the last episode we built this wall. We've done a little bit more work and some other people have come along and done some more work. There we go. I actually put the top store story on this building <laughs> off camera. Uh, just kind of had an inspiration to make kind of a dino garage up above the work area so people could bring their dinos in here. There's no real gates though. Um, but we can always do force field walls in the future. And uh looks like Scriptar put a fog machine out here. I had already put one over there, but he thought it was cute, so he put one there as well. Oh, bushes are coming back. Uh, somebody came up here and finished that wall up there so things wouldn't drop in. Don't know who did. Oh, it's a Diplo, I think, right outside the gate. Um, and... Oh, teleporter! I'm betting... Personal owner of Blurry Face. Okay. So Stavos put this here. Awesome! So Stavos has a teleporter here for Community Center. I went in and... Uh, use some of the resources to make a teleporter remote so that we can get back here wherever we are and another teleporter pad get out of here diplo uh so that we can play the teleporter down when we find a base that's right we're gonna find a base but the first thing we have to do is get a haircut so <laughs> let's go in and uh, see if we can make some skizzers uh skizzers can we pull the resources necessary to make some skizzers no uh we need obsidian Man, I think we have the flint. I think it's the obsidian that we do not have, that we do not possess. Um, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. Well, actually, when, when I can I can find out, can't I? I can come up here and I can click on any item in there and go here. Oops, sorry, go here. And say, do we have the flint? Oh, yeah, we have the flint. That's not a problem. I'll put 50 over into this smithy from that smithy. Uh, the problem is the obsidian, I am sure we have one. <laughs> okay, well, whoops, I don't know if I pulled that or not, didn't really mean to. Um, I guess we'll just wear a helmet for now, to hide our hair. <laughs> that helmet could hold our hair, couldn't it? Yeah, it could fit in there. All right, but uh, I guess the first thing we want to do, now that we've got a community center established, and there's some stuff here and resources that we can always come back to if we need to, is um, we've got our friend. I didn't want to tame too many animals because I didn't want to have to migrate them to a base, but I think your friend and I need to go do some exploring. Um, I've, I've done a little bit of off-camera exploring, and I got lost at one point and, and had to actually use these fine tools to climb. I got too low, and I had to climb up to this level where the community center is and then get back here. But uh, I need to go even further because we need to explore this map, see what's out there, and uh, and find a base, because that's as far as I've gone. You see over there at uh, like 40, 40. That's about as far as I've gone. There's a lot more to this world, clearly. And we need to go explore it, and we need to find a place to build our own base, okay? That's what we're going to do. First stop is the first thing on the teleporter list, which is <laughs> Stavos' base. So he was the one that set it up, and there's actually a drop here. The drops are the actual cave drops. That's kind of cool. Ooh, nice armor. Don't need a blueprint. Awesome. So this is Stavos' base. I'm going to actually gamma up a little bit. Don't know where he is. Let's see, on the map. Oh, yeah, he went deep exploring too, so cool. We can actually start from here if we wanted to. I haven't seen what's in between, though. Yeah, I'm going to start from here, though, because it's further out. And uh, maybe we can find some better places to go and look. So he's got a cute little uh, starter hut, teleporter pad. Some animals inside. Awesome. With pickup mod, of course, you can bring in carnos and things and storm inside the house, which is really nice. All right. Um, where to go? I used the fabricator at the community center to make one of these guys to help me know which direction I'm pointing. So this is back towards base. So I kind of want to explore north. Where's north? North is that way. Okay. So can I come out here and go north? I can. Oh yeah, we're little snail guys. Cementing paste dudes. Can I get cementing paste from killing one of them? Or do I have to tame them to get cementing paste? Let's experiment. Nope, I have to, I have to tame them. Oh, like tree of life sort of thing here. This is cool. Oh, the waterfalls. Oh, can you get up there? I, I really wish you could get up into that sunlight. Something tells me we won't be able to get up there. 
Can I make this jump? You guys think I can make... Oh. Tighten the bow, it looks like. I think I can make that jump. I mean, unless the... Well, this guy doesn't jump far, does he? Ooh, I probably shouldn't risk that. Let's go kill the Titan of Bow and do it the, the, the longer way. Oh, he's attacking something over here. Another one of the snails. Okay. Let's walk along the trees. This is a cool way to get around. Just don't fall off, right? Or to lag out. Um, I wanted to see if I could get up to either one of those things. So let's try up here. See if this is possible. What are, you, what are you? What is this little thing over here? Is it the, the little pony? I saw one of these at the community center. I think Scott had tamed it. What are these things? Obviously, they're passive tames. Taming food. Um, uh, what will you eat? Berries? Let's put this on my hands, by the way. Will you eat berries? What do you eat, dude? I'll put you on my shoulder. What do you eat? They usually don't eat berries. That's for sure. Um, do you eat meat? That would be really creepy if you do. But I won't judge. No, you don't. Uh, you eat some of these weird mushrooms. How about just a rare mushroom? It's probably, probably one of the special mushrooms from in here, though. Nope. I should probably stop going back and forth and just take everything with me, right? <laughs> Uh, let's take some of these mushrooms, the different various types of mushrooms, uh, with me. Do you eat these? You do not. Do you eat these? You do not. Do you eat these? You do not. And finally, I think these are the last ones I have. Because if you don't eat these, I'm screwed. You do! I like tamed you! I don't know what... Did you just run off? If you just ran off, I'm going to be so upset. Uh, we're going to call him Happy. If you've watched that show, the new show. Don't... Oh, Happy, thank goodness. Hi, Happy. What can you do? Uh, full charge. Pet to talk. Oh, so he's a light guy, just like the other ones. Okay. Okay, enemy player detection is enabled, I guess. Very cool. Hello, Happy. A little magic horse. He's got his little tail. He's got a little tail. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. You get to ride on my shoulder. Happy. You can stand up. Well, we don't look as fun when we're standing up. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Continue up the tree. Iguanodon? As long as you don't mess with them, they're probably not going to mess with you. Alright. What? Are... I don't know what you are. I don't know why I can't attack for some reason. It's really annoying, but I killed you. You're a nameless. Oh, that's what the light protects you from the nameless. That's what that is. Do they? Could they just not come up with a name? Is that why they call it the nameless? This is going to be tricky. Please don't fall. Oh, goodness. We're going to have to... That's probably going to kill me. Almost certainly. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Freezing sphere. What does that mean? Um, ow. We're going to die. I don't know how to get out of this freezing sphere. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Let's jump off again. I don't know what's happening. Are you going to die too? Are we all going to die? No. No. Uh, freezing spores and electrocution. Oh, I'm in the water. Oh. I, I didn't think I was in the water. Tell him to follow me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Get out of here, circle. I got a really good pike. Gonna kill. Oh, oh, I'm still freezing. I don't know what's going on. There's a nameless. I don't know what's going on. I told my guy to follow me. Did he die? I don't know. Oh no, he's coming. He's coming slowly. Oh, he's gonna die. They're all gonna die. No. 
did I die? Stavos has a bed. Uh, but he doesn't have a recovery thing. Darn it. Oh, but I can teleport to him. So I'm going to go to the community center. Uh, respawn. Community center real fast. Get my death recovery to get all my stuff back. But not my animals that are probably going to die. Including the one that just... Happy just died. No! Happy scriptars here. Happy just died. I'm encumbered. Because I gotta turn off these stupid skins. Because I gotta put my hat on. Where's my hat? There's my hat. That'll let me run. Thank you. <gasps> Should have my teleporter back. Stavos. Not teleporting any other animals, am I? No. Alright. Stavos. Um, that and that and that and that. And put my pike out and let's go. Let's go. Why am I moving so slow? Because why am I over encumbered? Got my builder's helmet on, right? I do. Why does it say I'm encumbered? Oh, I know why it says I'm encumbered. Because you got to do this. You got to throw something out and pick something up. There we go. It's an old builder's helmet bug issue thingy. So I went down here to get on the log, and I went out there, and I fell down there. Okay, we need to we need to repeat our. Retrace our steps, I'm sure. Do, do, do. Have, have they died yet? Uh, I died. Happy died, of course. Oh, happy. Happy. I was only happy for a little while. No. Hello, Anki. How are you? So it doesn't want me to go up. Oh, I went up that direction. I guess. Yeah, it doesn't want me to go up that that angle that we went. Right, this is where we got happy, right? So this is the direction we went. So it, it definitely didn't want me to go past that angle, and I couldn't get to the, the waterfall anyway, so that's unreachable. It's just teasing us. So I went this way, fell down into that blue thing down there, and then there's apparently water below. Should I risk just falling again and see if I land in the water? Oh, crap. That's not the water. Oh, this is really going to hurt. There's no way I'm surviving that one. Oh, wow, I survived it. Am I in a freezing sphere again? No. But my guy should be down there. Somewhere. Actually, I think it's that water over there. Why does it say I'm not in a freezing sphere now? Oh, there he goes. Come on. Fight back. Fight back, dude. Yes. It's a nameless. Come on, dude. Come on. Where's my guy? Help me. Help me, guy. Help me. Oh, he's not. He's got to be on neutral. Please tell me he's on neutral. Oh, there he is. Your friend. Your friend. Come on, man. Help me. Help me. Help me. Oh. Oh. How's your health? Your health is fine. My health is not. Get over here, nameless. Kick your butt, stupid thing. You're only a level 10. These things are tough. Look, I'm only doing 68 damage, man. Oh, crud. What? Oh. These are other namelesses. They're not the orange one, the orange ones, or whatever, though. The glowy lava ones. Oh, they glow lava at some point. That's their angry face. Okay. What do these things harvest? Just hide and meat. Okay. I don't even get anything special from them. Well, um, we're here. <laughs> Wherever here is. Wow. This place is dangerous as crud. Oh, I need to fix all my armor, which I can't. Oh, oh no, we got nameless venom. We did get some stuff. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, I'll get another happy some other day. I'm just happy we survived. Is that Happy's bag? Or it was. Gone now. What are you? Oh, you're a, a Diplocolus, Diplocolus, or whatever. I've never tamed one of you guys. <clears throat> there's a gas vein. I just want to get somewhere. Oh, there's metal here. Somewhere relatively safe. 
if I can. There's a, that's not a Carno. What is that? Iguanodon? Oh, another nameless man. These things, I don't like them. You're not a. Are you? You're not an Iguanodon. What are you? Hmm. Whatever you are, you're scared. Okay, these guys I can fight. These are my own my own people. I'm gonna be weighed down with meat here in a second, though, because I'm doing so well. I just do not get off this dude. That's for sure. That is a spitter. Don't like spitters. Am I basically in a cave? Yeah, I'm not doing so well. I better eat, get my health back. No, come on! Oh! Oh, dude, I'm sorry for punching you there. Oh, I did not need that. I did not need that. I am not doing well. I need to find somewhere relatively calm for a little while and recover. Um, can I get up this rock at all? Oh, I can. Woo. I think I heard something trying to attack me. There is something trying to attack me. Not another nameless. Come on. Dudes. Just leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. Yeah, I think I'm in um, a cave. I think I fell into a cave. Oh, not enough. Come on. These things just spawn out of thin air. Oh my gosh. Did I gamma up? No, I better gamma up because it's, it's bright over there, but it's hard to see over here. What happens if I go up this trail? Is it slightly safer? Oh. <laughs> Alistro kind of indicates a bit of safety. Oh, here comes a nameless. These guys can see from a mile away. Thank goodness I have an upgraded saddle. Sorry, Listro. You just got in the way, buddy. And here comes another nameless. They do. They like spawning out of thin air. What is it with these guys? And another one behind me. That's awesome. Okay. Well, I got a level. F oh, here comes another one. Jeebus. Leave me alone, people. more nameless coming. Need to eat some more meat, get some more health back. I'm not doing well. Good, good thing I put so much into health, 800, but uh, speaking of which, I should probably put more. Because this might happen some more. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to sit here and calm down and settle down and try to find some safe place. And we'll be back. I've moved on and I found, uh, well, apart from this, Oh, you're not taking me off my mount. Oh, yes, you are. Uh, it's those curly guys. Uh, those dung beetles. That is very promising. Because one of the things we've been finding a little resource of is oil. Uh, to have a dung beetle would be crazy good. But look up here. I have found something that looks like it might actually be normal-ish sort of terrain. I would love to build up here and see how safe or just crazy, disastrous, horrible this place is. And how far up we can get before we get into a cold zone and die. Ravagers, not a problem. Even a pack, not a problem, unless they take me off their mount, which I don't think they do. Because I haven't seen that in the tamed version. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of some of this meat, by the way. I think I'm way overloaded with meat. Oh, I had pants there I could have put on, but that's okay. Yeah, there's more pants, but I don't care. I killed a rock drake off camera as I was coming up here. I just saw him. I mean, he was right in front of me, and I had to attack. Sorry, I was not recording at that time. There's another one. Well, we can kill another one if you like. Those shimmery guys right there. Let's go. Let's do it. 
I'd like to tame one of these someday, but for now, killing them is kind of fun. Yeah. Level 20. I like this. It looks like normal arc. Yes. <laughs> I can build here and not feel freaky. I'll get rid of the extra meat. Okay. I got some berries in there I saw, but I'll deal with those later. All right. How far up can we go? Those guys will mole men will leave you alone unless you mess with them. Parasaurs, Ankies, yes, nice. Dodos, Stegos. This looks almost like Ark. <laughs> almost like regular Ark. Oh, there's Raptors. This is a nice place. Where are we on the map? I say Raptors, this is a nice place. I guess we're heading west. <clears throat> so we're heading actually kind of back towards where we started. Which sort of makes sense. I just like the look of this place with the trees and the light. This, I mean, this is obviously a, like, these are essentially, the uh, raptor will see me. Oh, you can actually make element in these things. I thought these were something else. Let me see. Nope, nope, that's all you can do. Oh, it's a charge node. It's called a charge. Oh, you can charge things here. Okay. And make element. All right, cool. Um, This generally looks like a pretty decent place for a base. Let's do a little bit more investigation and see what we find. There's one of those big snake guys. Oh, you spitting venom at me? Oh, oh, that hurt. I didn't expect that stuff to come at me. What's it doing to our torpor? Um, oh, I didn't mean to attack you. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, this is a good place. I mean, generally speaking. Parasers. Oh, it's so bright here. Yes! I think I want to build a base up here, guys. I think I do. I just need to figure out the best place to do it. Hmm. Up against a cliff face. If it's a cliff face, nothing spawns on. But things spawn up there. What do we have over here? It's another charge point. And rocks and mushrooms. And a TV screen. <laughs> Hmm. Up here might actually be a decent place. Let's keep looking. I think we're going to attempt to put a base right here. I don't know how safe this will be in the long run, but it's a little high up. Right? So things can't... And there's nothing living here right now. I mean, there's things around, but there's nothing up on this particular point. And if all these rocks are breakable, I think we're... I think we're doable. You're on neutral. Good. You can protect me. Let's break all these rocks and see what we got. Oh, they are. Sweet. Now there's raptors and things nearby, but nothing real crazy. So far. And there's real wood here? Wow. Yeah, because these are real trees. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome possum. Awesome sauce. Uh, let's get some fiber going. We have that guy. And we're pooping. And we're eating. So we can heal from those stupid attacks. There's a raptor down there. Behind that big rock in front of me. If you didn't see it. There he is. He'll be seeing me soon. Which is fine with me. Um, yeah. This will work. Let's put up a little base here. And then let's put up a wall. And we'll call this place home, huh? We could even potentially build platforms in there, maybe? I don't know if that's considered a, like a redwood. But let's build some... Let's build some walls first. So let's go with some... Fence foundations, I should type in fence, S plus, these guys, stone fence supports. Let's put these guys down and build kind of a temporary wall just to protect us all, you know, hold us safe-ish for a while. We'll come down here, I guess, like that. And 
wrap the, ra the wall around this way. Uh, I have my crafting speed up to like 300 now or 400, which lets me craft really quickly. Uh, crafting skill, 500, uh, which affects your quality of, of manufactured items, but also your speed of crafting. So that's cool. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this, guys. I'm going to fence this place off, and um, and then we'll start building a little bit of a hut, and we'll put down our teleporter. We'll get going. All right, finishing up the uh, wall here, just putting these little skirts down underneath the fence foundations. And I'm feeling a little bit safer in this location. Just a little. Is there anything above me? <laughs> anything maybe dropping in? I don't know. But let's finish these off real fast. Oh, out of stone. That's good enough, though. I feel kind of safe. Got a gateway there. Got my walls up. Everywhere else is something you have to climb up, which I'm sure a snake could slither up, but uh, I don't see any snakes right around here, so I don't. Th not a big deal. Now over here, as I was collecting wood, I saw something really cool that we're gonna have to deal with. Uh, where was it? Over here? Even further, I think. Yeah, right in here. A level 150 dodie. Look at that thing. That's max level, I believe here. Uh, for our settings, for our server settings, which is uh, difficulty f uh, offset 5, difficulty 1, which is kind of what the center has, I think. So, um, let me finish up a little bit of this. I'm going to build a, uh, let's hide all these fence posts because they're ugly. There we go. Come back in here and start work on a little bit of a building for a little bit more protection. Then I'll eventually wrap this whole thing, I think, in, in, in walls. Just to be a little safer. And then we'll eventually expand it as we get into our teams and things. The base. But this is a good start, right? Good start. Oh, I need clothes. Good start. <laughs> good start. I don't know if I have... Uh, oh, it was fiber I needed to repair those things and hide. And I have the hide. And I think I can repair them now. Let's actually repair them. What do you know? Get clothed. Clothed. Alright, that's better. This is... My normal slightly higher than normal gamma. So in this area, it's it's fairly bright compared to the rest of Aberration. That is normal gamma right now at the late in the afternoon. So it could be a little bit brighter during the day. This is my slightly higher gamma that I like to run in Aberration, which I think is fine for here. And then this is my max gamma. So I've been doing my work in max gamma just so I can see better. But I can do it here as well. That works. All right, folks, I just checked the time, and we are out of time for this episode. Next episode, guess what we're going to do? We're going to go get that dodicorous. We're going to get on. Let's take this off and see what our hair looks like. Oh, boy. <laughs> Put that back on. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.